Pink. <lacht> Hab statt hier Teller Joghurt. This is no good Joghurt. <lacht> Hello everyone! What's up? Welcome back to my yogurt! Does anybody want this? <laughs> I just really need my vanilla sauce. Today we're gonna do something quite different. <laughs> and we're gonna do it together with Paco. This is such a random video. But for whatever reason I had the urge to film this. Hi buddy. Oh, don't show this. <gasps> Jimmy always wants to show his butthole. You can't even see him. You can only see his ears. So in this video, we will be making a tier list for all of my hairstyles and hair colors in my social media career. I will not be including my hairstyles before I started with social media or before I started to dye my hair officially on my channel because then this list will just be a little bit too long. <laughs> so if you don't know what a tier list is, it's basically just ranking into different categories. There's S tier, which is the absolute bestest of the best, A, B, C, and D tier. And D tier is the worst. I kind of like these tier ranking videos. I think they're kind of satisfying for some reason. So here is my tier list that I made. You can actually customize them. And I didn't know that was like an official thing. Apparently this tier list exists now. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, and do your own tier ranking of my hairstyles be my guest so our s tier as you can see is 10 out of 10 broccolis obviously because this is the shit this is the best our b tier is fan favorite which kind of just it's self-explanatory i know which ones you love the most believe me our b tier which is like the middle area which is kind of neutral is a change is better than no change which is by the way a motto that i live by then we get on to to hope it fades or grows out fast. And the worst one is wearing a hat 24 seven, which means I literally just hate this fucking hair color or hairstyle. And I do not even want to show it to all of my broccoli because I hate it, but I have to because I probably filmed a video about it. <laughs> so these are all of our tiers. I picked basically all of my hair colors that have a significance, that have a significance, significance. Significant, significance, significance, significance. That sounds so German. Significance. If I say it, it sounds German. <laughs> significance mentions Kinas. W where was I going with this? So let's just get this started. I'm very uh, curious how well it will match your tier list when it comes to this. I hope we kind of think alike, but I'm pretty sure some of you might actually put it in different tiers than I do, but we'll see about that. Let's see, let's see. Don't shout at me in the comments, please. So we're gonna start with the classic, the white blue fading into the white, into the blue. That is literally the hair color I started my career on and it is just so unapologetically me. It has been Naomi John for a long time. I don't think there is actually a Naomi John color now because it's just all over the place. I still get messages of you saying, I've been with you since this hairstyle. And I'm like, damn, that's a long time. Broccoli. I do really like this hairstyle and also the long hair is kind of cute But I also have to say that on this picture. I really face tuned the shit out of my hair It is not that voluminous It has never been that voluminous and it's not gonna be that voluminous But I'm still gonna put it into fan favorite because I just know that you guys Love this to death and not even fan favorite even like my friends and family. They're always like oh This was the best color on you. I don't want to live in the past you know so stop giving me compliments about this hair color because i will never have hair like this again <laughs> let's carry on with the very very intense blue actually i think i didn't even plan on dyeing my hair this blue do you guys want to know the tea i've actually been on my first job with my old hair it was a job about hair and my hair got dyed by professionals but they kind of fucked it up they just tried to freshen up my ombre but kind Kind of just put like a harsh line in there. I saw the fuck up and my manager saw it and then we said guys I can't go out like this. That was the moment when I was like, okay, let's just try to work together Let's just do all blue and that is the outcome of this. I actually really love the color but damn this blue did not come out in 
five years. <laughs> I think I still have some of it down here. So I guess I would just put this into a change is better than no change because I didn't particularly plan this. It kind of just happened to me because I was just being nice. Next we have this <laughs> still blue, <laughs> but a different kind of blue, okay? I do have many shades of blue. It was just my blue face. I think this is good and I think this can also be counted to the fan favorite. I don't even know why I have this in here. It's kind of unnecessary, but it's basically kind of the same as the white blue. It's just even more blue. You get the point. Okay, now is actually my first different hair color. It was this beautiful blue purple. Now looking at it, I'm like, um, why? I don't think I was like a huge fan of this because I, I just don't think I'm a huge fan of purple hair in general. But yeah, I have to put this into hope it fades fast because not really feeling it. Also, it's kind of just blue. <laughs> Next, we have this. I swear, this is a different blue, okay? This is a different color and I actually dyed it this way. It didn't just fade, I dyed it. And for this one, I actually also had an actual breakdown. I dyed this right before my first Coachella, my first and only Coachella. I was still at the beginning of my career, so I was super nervous nervous and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna dye my hair and I'm gonna use a different hair dye than usual and actually a different color kind of, a little bit of silver, but I don't know what it's gonna look like. It just was so dark and I absolutely hated it and even Vincent can still probably remember that night when I literally was just laying in my bed crying my eyes out because of this hair color. It wasn't even that bad. <laughs> I'm still gonna give it a, I hope it fades fast because that was honestly what I I was hoping for. This is the last blue we're doing and I would say this is a little bit of a pastel blue, almost baby blue. I'm just gonna put it into a change is better than no change because I do not feel any emotions about this. It's just boring blue. Taco woke up and is going back to sleep. <laughs> Now I actually cut my hair and I dyed it pink and kind of purple. Very, very pastel. And that was so crazy for me back then because I was living the blue lifestyle as you saw. I have to say guys, this is 100% going into the 10 out of 10 broccolis for me because this was such a drastic change and it was also the moment when I realized I am not born to just have blue hair. I am born to have every single hair color on this world. So this was my milestone and the beginning of something new it feels so right with this hair dye Ooh. also these were the colors of the love yourself album by bts back then and i was feeling so connected to my boys now my whole hair dyeing journey on youtube starts for real for real and we're here with pump call me. I think I called her Pump Call Me back then because of Pumpkin and Naomi. <laughs> Nobody ever called me that again. I keep mentioning it that the orange is still one of my favorite hair colors in general. So this has to go to 10 out of 10 broccolis. It's just gorgeous. I want to have orange hair again. Actually, I could do that. Imagine orange mole. Fabulous. Next one is still orange, but kind of orange pink. I think it's kind of salmon-y. This was also just a super spontaneous thing and a friend of mine, actually a hairdresser friend of mine dyed it this way and you guys love this. And all of my friends loved this. It was just unintentionally groundbreaking. <laughs> so this has to be a fan favorite, 100%. I mean, I really liked it myself, but I feel like other people liked it way more than I did because I never dyed it this way again. Ah, ah, we're finally there. This is another milestone. Broccolomi. Oh, I miss her. I actually don't know where I'm gonna put this. You guys loved it, but also not like outstanding. But a change is better than no change is also kind of low for broccolomi. I think I'm gonna put it into fan favorite just because it's broccolomi. I'll have to. Guys, please don't say anything against this. <laughs> it's your favorite, yeah? This was from my video cutting myself bangs and dyeing my hair spontaneously. That is exactly what, the, what this is. <laughs> I'm just not so fond of bangs, Naomi. I know I have bangs right now. I hate them. <laughs> no, I think I just really have a problem with this 
these kind of bangs that are super full. I think I'm gonna put it into a change is better than no change because I really just enjoyed doing a whole makeover that day. So now we're getting to a very underrated hair color, I think, because I didn't have that for a long time and I feel like nobody really acknowledged that, but honestly, it's kind of gorgeous. It's a perfect lavender. I also had really, really short hair. Still hate the bangs. I actually also hate the short hair and the bangs together. I don't really know how to rate this because I like the color, but I hate the cut. So I guess I'll also have to put it into a change is better than no change. We're getting into the yellow era, which was longer than I hoped for. This was my first dive into yellowness. It doesn't look that neon on this picture, but it was a very bright neon yellow. I actually like this one, but I don't think I had this for a long time. So I'm gonna have to put it into, I hope it fades fast because I put something else on top. <sighs> this yellow. I don't know where to put this because right now, looking at it, I hate it. <laughs> I didn't hate it back then. I mean, this picture is okay, but watch old videos of mine, like this era when I got myself a tongue piercing. That was my yellow hair era and it just... Oh. I'm gonna put it into hope it fades fast. It did not fade fast. <laughs> I hit this for such a long time. My first time doing split hair. I think people love this. That one video where Brad Mono reacted to my hair colors. He loved this the most. I mean, he's not necessarily my fan, but I'm still gonna put it into fan favorite because I know you guys loved it as well. Next one. Blue and orange split hair. And I actually did this in a live stream back then. This wasn't even a video. I personally actually love this. I don't know. It just really is such a cool color combo because of the extreme warm and cold. But I actually would give this 10 out of 10 broccolis. It's up there. I love it. It's just gorgeous. Okay, guys. It's Halloween. Yeah, this was my dyeing my hair in Halloween colors only video, as you can see. It's just the color combo. The color combo is just, it's horrendous. Um, I'm really gonna put it up there, down there. This was awful. It doesn't look that bad on this picture because obviously I have my full face of makeup. I have my Halloween makeup. I have my model stare. Oh, so when it faded, it was so very bad that I had to do another experiment, dyeing my hair in Christmas colors. And I'm just gonna cut it short, guys. This is also going down there. It might work on Christmas as decorations, but not on my head, please. I feel so sorry for both of my festive hair colors. Yes, Halloween is also festive to me. Compared to all the other ones, it's just, it's the combo that is not. Oh my god, I can't believe we're staying right there at the most horrific colors I've ever dyed my hair in. Welcome to my McDonald's hair. If you haven't seen this video, this was when I dyed my hair drunk. It's memories. I just cannot. In this video, I, th I thought until the last minute when I went to bed, it was gonna look bomb.com. I forgot to put it there, yes. Wearing a hat 24 seven is slowly filling up. Now we're getting onto the part two of my Ronald McDonald hair. Basically me trying to save this hair and honestly, it really worked. <laughs> just taking out the yellow with some bleach, it just really did something for this look. I actually really love this. I really want to have this again. Is this a 10 out of 10 broccoli? I'm just gonna put it there because this was so fucking cute. And I don't think I ever achieved this again, just like these very bright white front strands. Let's carry on with white haired Naomi. This was actually right after Vincent kept my hair really short, also in a video. I just bleached the hell out of it and it's really cute. I'm gonna put it up to fan favorite because I know that you guys also really love it when I have bright white light hair. <laughs> It's just timeless. I just don't even think I will get there again because every time I bleach my hair, it's just because I will dye my hair afterwards. So I kind of miss it, but oh well. Next is my first rainbow hair transformation. This one was not so pretty. I just didn't like the constellation of the colors. I feel like that's not the right word. The placement of the colors. Yeah, it wasn't bad. So for me, this actually goes into, I hope it fades fast because I literally hoped 
it fades fast. Because I wanted it to be pastel. Next, you can see I'm getting really bored of the colors. I want to be edgy. It was my first time dyeing my hair black and my only time. <laughs> this was the worst hairstyle to maintain. I didn't even maintain it. I literally just tried to live with it and it was not possible. Imagine me in the shower with my mirror in there and I just had to put shampoo into the sections like separately and just wash it out separately and just be very very careful that none of the black gets over onto the white. It was so bad. If we just say this freshly dyed look, love it. I love the strong contrast so much. So I'm gonna put it up there. I love it 10 out of 10. The next one is so fucking unnecessary. I let an Instagram filter pick my hair color I think and it was literally red up here and the lower section was pink and you can't even see the shit. I did all of that for nothing. It just goes to hope it fades fast. So I guess my I hope it fades fast is also my yeah. unnecessary section. Unnecessary. Now we're getting back to blue. We all we saw, all that, saw that, coming. that coming. I was thinking about putting this into fan favorite, but I actually don't think this was a fan favorite. I think you guys literally just wanted me to have like this white blue ombre again, but not this. I feel like this was just like an experiment. I was like, well, maybe I'm just gonna have blue again. And I want it to be a bit different than back when I had the other kinds of blue. I will put it to a change is better than no change because it was cute, but also unnecessary Now we're doing my second round of rainbow hair and this was kind of an accidental rainbow hair This was just me putting all of my hair dyes onto my head. I think damn I made so many hair dyeing videos I think I'm gonna have to put it into a change is better than no change again because that's just rainbow hair fun for the moment And then you have to dye it again, and you're just not gonna do it and then it's over next one natural Naomi. <laughs> I didn't hate it, okay? But also maybe I did hate it a little bit. <laughs> I thought it was kind of fun for the moment because I never really dyed my hair in this crazy color before. <laughs> Next we have this absolute abomination. This was not on purpose. This was literally just an accident. My hair was kind of too blue and I just tried to color correct it with some orange and it did actually work but then I got cocky and I put way too much orange in there and then then we have this. Actually, Vincent loved this so much. But I just thought it was really not good. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it there, guys. It did look good with this makeup, but you guys know I have to also take into account that I do not wear makeup that much. And every time I don't wear makeup and the hair just looks like shit. It gets to me, okay? It was just not my vibe. <sighs> This is so long. Next one is my hair dripping video. This was actually more of a mess than you can see on this picture. If you've watched the video, you probably saw that I had some green spots here and just very much an uneven finish. I'm gonna put it to I hope it fades fast. But also I have to say when it faded, it was even worse because you really get to see all the patchiness of it. Next, we're back with orange Naomi. Call me. This hairstyle is fun, but also it's not giving what it's supposed to give. I'm gonna put it to a change is better than no change. I really have to say I don't like this orange as much as the first orange. Next one is maybe a little bit unnecessary in this tier list. I don't know why I picked this. I'm gonna put it into a change is better than no change because this is literally just why I did this. I put a little bit of purple into the ends of my hair because I was like, I need a change. Something needs to happen up here. Next Next one is very recent. We have this pink purple moment, which is a hairstyle that you guys actually voted for on Instagram, kind of. <laughs> I feel like this whole video is just me plugging my other videos. It wasn't appalling, but it also really was not my thing. I'm just done with this kind of pink. Just had it way too many times. The color combo. Now nah, it's gonna go to I hope it fades fast. We are actually at this very moment. This is my most recent hairstyle, the mullet. I don't really know what to feel about it. I know I have it right now. It looks really dope on this picture. It looks really dope when I have a full face of makeup on and I'm just perfectly styled and it just sits in this one particular perfect way but I just it's just it's fun maybe in movement oh <laughs> I'm just gonna let it grow out but I'm glad I did it Chili, taco do you want a mullet oh, oh that was my back 
I know that you guys actually really love this, but I also know that you guys really hate this. <laughs> My DMs have never been so divided. That's why I can also not put it into fan favor and it's just gonna go into it changes better than no change because it was indeed a fun change. I just think every person on this earth should try a mullet one day and then just let it grow if they don't like it. Why did I just talk like I'm drunk? I'm probably just drunk from a yogurt. And now it's just a little addition. Addition! <laughs> Blonde Naomi, just completely natural. natural. This was right before I dyed the pink and purple. And I just put it in there because I know you guys are obsessed with this. I feel like you guys just really want me to have this hairstyle. So this is just gonna go straight into fan favorite because this is your favorite as far as I know but there we have it we have very focused middle part but also we definitely have the least in the bottom tier which means most of May May. <laughs> Most of my hair dyeing processes have been successes. I am satisfied with this outcome. I think this is very accurate. I'm gonna leave the link of this tier down below if you wanna do your own for whatever reason. <laughs> Let me know if you agree with my list or if I'm totally wrong. What's next? Huh? This has been such a long journey on YouTube, but I still enjoy making hair dyeing videos to this day When God created me, he already threw hair dye in there. Why is my voice like dying right now? <clears throat> Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram Naomi John on TikTok And the Naomi John on Twitter, oh yeah Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Goodbye Thank you for coming with me